Hello and welcome to the first annual Heart Men's Bowling Day. I am your host, Heart Correspondent Derek Johnson. As Heart Media Day continues, we're now joined by Missouri Valley College and the Vikings, their head coach, Stan LeBou, and one of his athletes, Garrison Parkhurst. Coach, we're toward the end of the season here. The Heart Championship is upcoming. What does this conference tournament present as an opportunity for you guys to do? I think it just presents an opportunity for us to keep learning. We struggled a little bit this season. Uh, we had a very good year last year and uh, kind of took a little bit of a step backwards. We see improvement in our guys, and that's uh, our number one focus is see improvement in who we have here and then build for next year. You brought Garrison with you today. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about him and what he means to the Mo Valley program? Uh, he means a ton to us. He's a homegrown product, and we're very proud of that because Boonville's a small town. And for us to have an athlete like his caliber to come right out of one of our uh, own high school uh, uh, programs, you know, in our area, uh, it's it's just really big. And he fits right in with everybody that we have, and uh, he's uh, our future leader right here. Garrison, uh, what does it mean to you when you hear that, that you're the future leader of the program? Does that, I don't know, uh, put any extra pressure on you? Does it uh, signify importance in any way? What, what does that mean when you hear that from your coach? Uh, it just really means that he has a trust in me to um, help out the team. I mean, we, we've all helped out each other through this past season, and I'm excited to grow, and I don't think it adds any pressure. Uh, I'm just ready to go out there and help the team. Um, do the best we can. I'm excited to um, pick up any guy when they when they need it, and I'm sure they'll do the same for me. At what point when you were bowling competitively before you got to college did you think you had a chance to do this thing collegiately and, and eventually uh, committed to Mo Valley? Uh, I was probably almost 17, if not just turning 17, and I was putting up uh, occasionally pretty decent numbers at tournaments. I was like, well, these guys are looking at going. I was like, I think I might have a chance to make it to the collegiate level as well. Uh, Coach, uh, do you guys have a bowling facility there in Marshall, Missouri, or is there a facility outside of practice that you guys use? Yeah, we use uh, several facilities around the state. And uh, Boonville is kind of our home center as well as Marshall. They're both small 12-lane centers and a little bit difficult, which I don't think that's a detriment in any way because some of the shots that we shoot on as collegiate athletes, you know, are, are fairly well difficult. So in, in a way, I think the small centers uh, kind of give us a little bit of an advantage because we can set them up any way we want to. Like we can, we put out curtains and simulated seven and 10 pin shots. And I can't go into another guy's center and just here, I want to do this, 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 you know, so much. So we can put out old patterns, uh, different old patterns and, and just, Lots of different uh, exercises. What's been your favorite thing about coaching with the Missouri Valley program? Uh, going to the tournaments is uh, it's almost like you're in it. You know, when you're sitting behind the kids, you know, it's it's almost like you're in it. That's to me, that's the number one thing. Recruiting and everything, you know, it's it's fun, but you know, it's a, it's still a challenge for us. It's, we're a pretty young program. Like this is our third year, so it's still a little bit of a challenge, but. I love to compete too. And I love to watch the guys compete. And uh, it's like I said, it's almost like you're in the game too, which you are, you know, you're coaching. Garrison, what are you most excited for with the upcoming hard championship? Um, I'm really excited to see if we can uh, do what we've done in a small sample size and hopefully um, broaden that to the length of the tournament. I think all of our guys know what we're capable of. It's just a matter of being able to stay consistent and continue the ball at that level. Coach, who are some of the other athletes besides Garrison that we should be keeping an eye on before uh, the action gets started in Topeka? We have uh, Wyatt Grunwald out of Idaho who is looking extremely well, and I know his numbers are going to show up. This guy looks really good. Uh, uh, guy Mapstone is uh, another one. He's out of Texas, uh, Sour Lake down by Houston, and he's improved a ton. And uh, both of them have finished in the top five individually, which, you know, that's a big honor. And, uh, you know, in the in the individual portion of the tournament. And uh, I look for big things from both of them. Garrison, uh, do you have a favorite memory or moment from whether it's this season or at some time bowling during your career with the Vikings? 
Um, so far this year, um, we've had uh, several good moments. Um, here recently, our last tournament in Lawrence, Kansas, uh, we all had a really good game. We bowled over a thousand, um, which for us was a good, uh, good sample very, to very good, uh, you know, confirmation that we are capable of this. We just need to, uh, you know, like I said before, keep it on the length of a tournament. Yeah. And so I, I, we were all really shooting the line we need to be at at that particular game. And I was really proud of us for that. And it's a good, me good moment, good memory for the team. What's the team camaderie like? Is is everybody close knit and uh, tight together? Yes, we definitely Excellent. are. It, it's it's amazing. Um, everybody, the four guys that are on the varsity squad were here. They're all either sophomores or juniors, and um, I fit right in with them. They welcomed me in. Um, we do things outside of bowling together. When we um, go out for team dinners on these tournaments, it's amazing. No one's left out. We are all together. It's basically one family, one team. Oh. Coach, because uh, everybody on varsity is a sophomore and junior, is it a little bit different coaching a group like that where you know it's not just about this year that you're trying to really get them to grow and progress for when they're upperclassmen next season? Yeah. Yeah, we have to look to the future. You know, we like I said, we struggled a little bit this year, but we've got some recruits on the way, help on the way, and these guys are growing rapidly and uh, looking for some big numbers. And we're not overlooking this tournament. We're going with the idea that we got a chance and uh, let's build for September, which isn't that far away. Garrison, what means, what does it mean to you to be a part of the Missouri Valley College men's bowling program? And, and when you think of Mo Valley and the bowling, what comes to mind? Um, our toughness and grit that we've had this season, um, it, it means a lot. Um, the team means a lot. Uh, to me and I, I know it means a lot to everybody that's part of the team and I believe that it's going to show whether it's this tournament or in the future we're going to build and we're going to have a good run at it well coach Garrison thank you guys for your time good luck at the heart championship and the rest of the season okay see you there thank you